So hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create beautiful transitions in any Android application. So in this video, we are going to create two scenes. In the first scene, the balloon will be in the bottom of the scene. And in the second scene, the balloon will be on the top of the scene. And we will switch from one scene to another scene by giving a transition. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So guys, if you have not subscribed to our channel, then I would like to request you to please subscribe to our channel. It will be a great asset towards your learning and experience because we have been bringing a lot of free courses, free materials and a lot of stuff. So let's start the session. So first of all, let's discuss some basic terminologies. What is a scene? A scene is just like a layout or placement of a view on a certain position. And we can design another scene in which the position of that view will be at different position or that view can be finished or anything else. So in this video, we are going to create two scenes and we'll switch one scene to another scene by giving an animation which is called the transition. So let's start the session. So first of all, let's create our project. And from here, select the empty activity. And here, give the name at transition demo and we are okay with the package name location and with the language and click finish button so let's wait a while until our project is ready for the development so okay guys our project is ready so for this project we have to create two scenes so let's create our first scene for this click on the resource folder and from here select the layout and right click on it from new select the layout resource file and write as first scene for this resource file and click ok and open it in design mode so let's design our first scene but before that let me import an image to this project which is the image of balloon and you can use the same image or any image you want to use i have copied that image select the drawable and paste that image into the drawable because we place the image in the drawable folder and click OK and so okay guys our image has been imported in this project so now let's select the first scene and from here click and drag an image view at the bottom position and drop it so our image is appearing here select the image and click OK now let's adjust it on the certain location Let's give the constraint. I will give the right, left constraint and the bottom. Let me, okay, this is touching the bottom. So our first scene is completed. Now let's create our second scene. Again, repeat the process, select the layout directory, right click on it, new layout resource file and make the second scene click ok and in the same way we will also drag and drop an image view on the top of the screen from here select the same image balloon click ok now let's give the appropriate constraints So okay guys, our second scene is also completed. So in the first scene, our balloon is on the bottom and in the second screen, it will fly on the top by giving an animation. So in the first scene, we will click on this image view and it will navigate it to the 
second scene by giving an animation. So first of all, let's add the click event to this first scene image view. For this, go to main activity. So for this, make a public on click method. So now let's come back to the first scene, go to the code mode and from here enter and type on click and from here our click image, our click function is accessible, double click on it. So guys, our on click image method is added so when a user will click on this image on the first scene this method will be called in the main activity .java file. So now let's give the appropriate ID to the scenes. So in the first scene, we will give the ID to this scene as uh, type ID. And we have given the ID for scene. In the same way, we will also give the ID to the second scene. Type ID and it will do all the task on its own. So guys, now let's come towards the, our main activity, our root view file. So this is our root view. So on this main activity or root layout, our first of all, our first scene will enter and then our second scene will enter on the root view. So we will also have to add an ID for this root view. For this, repeat the same process, ID and this is our root activity. So okay guys, the all process and the methods for the scenes and root view has been finalized. Now let's come towards the code in the main activity because we want to switch the scenes on this activity. So from here, let's take the instance of scene. In the same way, take the instance for second scene. And we will also have to take the instance for the view group for our root view. Because animations are always applied on the view groups. Now let's initialize all these scenes with the appropriate resource file for the root view. We will give the ID of root view sorry this is view group so in the same way let me initialize the scene the first scene will be given the first resource file for this let's so get scene layout and first of all, we will give the ID for our root view on which we want to enter this scene. And then the ID of this layout because this layout is located in the layout file. And the context of this file. So guys, repeat the same process for our second scene. So okay guys, our scenes has been initialized. Let me correct the name for our first scene. Okay, there was a spelling mistakes. So okay guys, now let's compile the code and see what is happening here. So okay guys, our application is running and you can see there is no scene appearing on the root view because we have not entered any scene. So let's enter the first scene. 
for this we will make so there is still mistake of the spelling okay guys now let us scene dot enter so now let's compile the code again So guys, as you can see here, our first scene has just entered the root view. So when I'm going to click it, nothing is appearing because we have not entered the second scene on the click event. So in the same way, let me add the second scene when a user will click on this image view. So guys, now let's compile again. And you can see here when I'm going to click this now our second screen just enter the root view and our first scene just has disappeared from the root view. But notice there is no animation there is no transition effect on this switching. For this we will have to import a transition file on in this project we will have to create that transition file let's do it. For this click on the resource right click on it from the new and make here android resource directory select the resource type as transition because we are going to make the transitions and click ok so our transition directory is here again right click on it new and from here create transition resource file and the root element will be transition set so this transition set will consist of a group of all transitions we want to apply on the switching of the scenes. Now the file name will be transitions and click OK. So our transition file just appeared. Now let's add a transition here. So first of all we will add a fade transitions and its duration will remain two second and the second scene will appear by fading okay so our first transition is just added you can add as many transition as possible so first of all let's check by adding this transition on the switching of both scenes but before that we will have to make the instance of transition Let me add it transition manager for our simplicity. Let's initialize this transition. For this we will have to take the instance of transition inflator. And from this context and inflate transition. So here we will give the ID of the transition file so it is located in the transition directory and with the file name transitions so guys our transition has been imported now let's add this transition to the second scene which, which will enter on the scene transition manager dot go to the second scene by giving this transition so now our second scene will appear on the screen by depicting this transition let's check it so guys when I'm going to click it you can see here my second image appears with some fading effect let me increase the duration of transition so that we can really see it I have given the five seconds now let's compile again and click on the image view on the first scene and you can see here it is giving some fading effect. So in the same way we can add as many transition as possible. So I will give another transition which is slide and its duration will be 
two second and uh, the slide edge will be top it will it will slide to the top and interpolator can be bounce so interpolator is just like any animation type so by giving the interpolator bounce it will give the animation of bounce the image will bounce back on the top this transition will applied on the second scene collectively so if you want to go in the sequence we will have to give the transition ordering as sequential it means that first of all this transition will be applied on the scene and then the second second transition so let's compile so click on the image so as you can see here both transition are just applied on it but we have not seen the effect of fade so first of all delete this transition And you can see here our transition slide is applied on the image so in the same way we can add as many transition as possible there is also a transition which is called uh, change bound and its duration will be two seconds as well so let's check what is the result of these transitions so you can create the custom animation by using the set of all transition let me click on this and you can see here only the slide effect is just dominating so let me delete the sequential and check what is going on and click on the image now all our transition applied collectively on the scene which were not appearing when we have applied the sequentially so guys let me give you an assignment you have to check and apply every transition which is appearing here path motion explode arc motion let me apply the explode as well so let's delete all these transition and see its effect individually so its duration will be three second and let's in interpolator will be let's check it cubic and check what's what is going on so when i'm going to click on it you can see it has given an amazing transition so guys it's your assignment you have to try every transition on this project and uh, let me know in the comment section have you enjoyed it and what kind of transition you have applied so guys this is enough for this session see you in next video hope you have enjoyed the video please like share our video and comment on our video and subscribe to our channel bye bye